So for the group that I picked to start off, I'm just going to tell you the name and basically what it's about, what we would talk about. So when I was in high school, we it was a school club called Fandom Club. To describe what that is, it's basically where we talk about different shows, um, franchises, like, okay, for example, Supernatural. I am a nerd for Supernatural. So we would talk about Supernatural. Some people would talk about something called Furries, I think is what it was called. But um, I wasn't really into that. But anyways, but there was a lot of stuff in it that I did like. And we would just talk about stuff that we're fans of, basically. And it was a, so that we could all feel welcome. And basically, we're all nerds. So anyways, so... For the first one to describe the characteristic of the group um so like a shared identity everyone's nerds really um we all really watch a lot of shows like supernatural has 15 seasons and i am all caught up to the 15th season i well i haven't finished 15th season yet i'm waiting for it to come on netflix but meaning we we watch a lot of tv and shows um we all of talking about said shows so like i could sit and i could have a conversation about the shows that i like for like hours just because i love to talk about my shows because well i just it's bad, but I do love to watch TV, even though it's really not healthy for you, but anyways, um, some common goals would be that in the group, a lot of people in the group really weren't popular, like I wasn't popular, so we were either maybe bullied or we didn't fit in with a lot of people, so the group a common goal of the group was just to make everyone feel like they belonged and that they did have a place where they could have friends and that they could be themselves. Um, some interdependence would be that some people like to talk about certain shows. So like, I would love to talk about Supernatural or let's see here. I loved Grey's, I love Grey's Anatomy, um, I would talk about certain shows, whereas other people would talk about maybe mainly anime, where I don't really watch anime, but that's their fandom, and you know what, and that's how we did inter inter interdependence. So, and then the identity of the group would be, we were a social group because it offered a lot of opportunities to build friendships. Um, I met a lot of friends in that group. I'm not necessarily friends with them now, just because we kind of went our separate ways after we went off to college, but it was a great way to build friendships in high school. Um, the complexity of the group, there was maybe about maybe 10 or more people in the group, and when there's that many people you kind of have to have respect for other people that wants to speak like you have to be aware that you're not the only one that's going to want to talk so you wouldn't you would probably raise your hand if you have a speaker in front of the whole room talking um although there was times like before the meeting even started that it would be pretty rambunctious a lot of people would be talking but me personally I was a social loafer I'm very shy I don't like talking in front of people so I would kind of just sit and listen even if I wanted to talk I would just kind of sit and listen so I would social loaf <clears throat> group networks we were pretty much an all-channel network everyone has a chance to speak even if you didn't really want to um so basically everyone would be talking to everyone 
or you would have someone speaking in front of everyone, talking to everyone. A lot of times they would have a PowerPoint expressing what they liked about a certain show or a certain maybe anime or something. Group climate. Um, so it kind of fostered cohesion because of the fact that it made everyone feel like they belonged. <clears throat> we all liked each other because of that. We all liked each other because we were accepted by one another. We all had shows in common, so we were accepted. And even if we didn't have certain shows in common, we were still accepted. And that's how we definitely fostered cohesion. Um, our clarity of goals also made us understand one another a lot. Because we all had a certain goal to just express what we loved about a certain show or anything that we fandomed over. So definitely, yeah, I really liked Fandom Club because for me, being a shy person, it helped me feel like I belonged. And that is my group.